Carrie from the Y, and today we're going to be doing a, a workout um, that's mostly balance and stability. So just think of it, we're working from the rib cage down. Um, we're going to be using a chair, so make sure you have a good chair that doesn't slide around. Um, you may want to hold on to it or may not, so I'll give you some options as we go today. Say hello to Lisa, she's here to help us out today, so um, but we're ready to get started. Alright, let's just start with a march. So we always want to warm up before we work out, especially our muscles, so they're nice and warm. So this workout is great for really anyone, because we all need balance training. All right. So let's do some shoulder shrugs. Warm up those shoulders. All right, let's go forward and back. Okay, so we're opening the shoulder blades and then opening the chest. All right, let's continue marching. And then we're gonna slow down the march but make it bigger. So big, big knees. Up, 
All right, very good, very good. And so you can do this one from behind your chair or next to it, depending on your level of comfort for your balance. I'm gonna do it behind so I can hold on to this chair. So your feet are shoulder width apart, we're gonna do heel raises. So we're gonna just lift those heels up and lower. So it's this. All right, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Do your hands on the hips. Or hold on. Four, three, two. All right, now we're going to change it to where we lift our toes. So we're going to just lift the toes and lower. It's hard to do. Watch how high up those go. And you want to try to lift without bending your body. So you don't want to bend like this. You want to stand nice and tall. Well, they're not going to go very far. It doesn't? Yep, it doesn't need to go high. Four. Three, zoom in on the face. Two, <laughs> and one. All right, so we're going to get up on our toes, and we're going to take a couple laps around our chair, walking like we're in high heels. Try if you need to hold. Of course, you got that chair. But if not, just take a couple laps around. And kind of end up where you started. Okay, so now we're going to go the other direction, but this time we're going to walk on our heels. This one's a little harder for me because I'm recovering from a knee surgery, but yeah, it's a challenge any day of the week. <laughs> Get around that chair a couple times. End up back where you started. All right, very good. All right, so now we're going to do some more balance work. So we're going to pretend that we have, we're walking on a tightrope. So our balance beam that's right in front of us. So we're just going to start just by walking heel toe forward, maybe, you know, five or six steps forward. You can hold your arms out and then back. So you want to try to keep your chin up and just use your peripheral to look down and, you know, make sure you're secure with your balance. Of course, if you need to look down, go ahead and do that. Let's do it again. Go forward, five or six steps. Now, if you're not feeling comfortable with your balance today, just walk forward. You don't have to do on the tightrope. Just walk forward and back. Because balance is different every day. Maybe we're tired from our workout yesterday. Ooh. All right, let's rest. Hard. Okay, so we're going to add a little more complexity to this, Lisa. So okay. here we go. So we're going to um, pretend, let's stick one arm out here, like we have a magazine or a book. Okay. So we're going to continue to keep our head forward in that line, but we're going to look with our eyes toward our hand like we're reading a book. And we're going to walk forward. Now, it's hard. It may not be for everybody. You could just look forward still. You could turn your head. Or you can walk on train tracks rather than on the line, which I'm doing right now. All right, let's put that arm down. We're going to do it with the other arm. All right, so keep your head forward. Those eyes to the side. Take your little walk. And back. Making whatever adjustments you need to make for you today. All right, good. Okay, so let's take one foot forward again, and one foot back. And then we're going to rock forward and back from heel to toe. So lift the front toe, lift the back heel. Now, if you can do this, you know, with your hands on the hips, you can try it. Now let's make this a little bit bigger so we can lift up our knee and then lift up our heel. So we're going to do those same drills we did, Lisa, to stop and go. Okay. So I'm going to tell you to stop and then we're going to, whatever position you're in, you got to stop and balance. So it's okay. kind of fun. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Stop. Hold it. See? It's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> All right, let's go. And always be near that chair in case you need to hold on. All right, hold. Hold it there. And relax. All right, let's do it the other way. I'm going to switch sides. So that opposite foot is forward. Okay. So we're going to lift the toe and then the heel. So both knees to get warmed up here. Get that motion down.
three laughs. Good job, good job. So the next part we're going to do in front of our chair. Okay. So you want to be close to your chair. So kind of the back of the legs are touching the chair. Okay. So we're going to practice like a series of squats. Okay. So we're going to start with just a half squat. So we only go halfway down. Okay. All right. So we're going to go down, slow, halfway, and back up. So you want to put the weight in your heels. Keep that chest lifted. Nice and slow. <laughs> a couple more like this. All right, let's. We're gonna go slow all the way down. You're gonna go down, two, three, all the way. Sit and up for four. Up, two, three, four. Let's continue that. So we're just slowly going down into that chair, building those muscles in our legs, which helps that stability, helps the balance. Harder than it looks. Uh-huh. All right, this time we're gonna stay seated. Stay all the way down, nice and slow. All right, so from here we're gonna do a couple exercises on our chair. So sit a little bit forward. So most of your leg is off the chair. We're going to sit nice and tall with your posture. Okay. So we're going to lift a leg, extend it, bring it back and down. Switch. Lift, extend, back and down. So you want to sit tall. You want to keep that core nice and tight. So these muscles here on the top of our legs are getting a nice contraction as we extend that leg. You can feel that. All right, we're going to do that one more time on each leg. All right, then we're going to change it. So we're going to lift this leg up and we're going to open it. Open, in and down. But keep that core body forward. We're not turning our upper body, we're just opening that leg. So those hips should be feeling it. Forward on the chair, 
this with inhalation. And as we exhale, let's lean back. And then coming back forward. So you may tap your shoulder blades on the chair behind you. Or not, depending on where you are with your range of motion. Let's just go back nice and slow. And then come up nice and slow. Very good. Alright, let's untwist. Alright, let's go back forward, take a nice breath. 